Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I'm the Old School Game Snob and in today's video we're taking a look at the new Lightning Fury Dodgeson. I'm gonna call her a Dodgeson. So this is currently on the public test realm for patch 2.4 and there have been some significant changes to dodge and avoid. Mainly the animation can now be interrupted which will no longer lock out the Amazon in performing other actions for both dodge and avoid which was the main problem with dodge and be avoid before you could get yourself stun locked and killed. That is being fixed, it has been fixed, so dodge and avoid are now super duper powerful again. Let's take a look at this build. Uh, kind of invincible, 15,000 armor, give or take, when we're all said and done. Just gonna walk into the center of trouble here so you guys can take a look at this. Gonna walk into the center of trouble. Okay, so number one, <laughs> number one. Um, number one, incredible defense rating. Number two, incredible block rating. Number three, uh, the we've maxed out her, her skills in evade, avoid, and dodge. So she's got so many layers of defense here. Uh, number four, we've geared her up with Crown of Ages, Guardian Angel, Storm Shield. So she's actually got 50% a damage reduction on anything that does hit. Uh, we also have a, a damage reduced by 21, just a flat damage reduction of 21. Um, yeah, this is silly. This is a very, very silly build. I haven't even, I haven't even used a heal button yet. Okay, so like I say, we do have that interesting, well, here's here's the interesting thing too. We've got chilling armor stacked on top of this uh, as well with the uh, fortitude, but actually we're using Guardian Angel because here's the other thing about this build. Not only does she have those many defenses on the physical, take a look at her elemental, 95, 95, 95, 90. We're also using some interesting things like the Rising Sun, like Ravenfrost, like Thunder Gods. These give us an absorb to elemental damage uh, she's walking through hell as if it were a stroll through the park. Can anything uh, even challenge this girl? I don't know. I don't know. Can anything even challenge this girl? That is the question. The only problem is actually getting through these monsters because they're in the way. Well, I guess that's what Lightning Fury is for. So not only can she take it, as you can see, Lightning Fury, you guys know, Lightning Fury can dish it out. Um, of course, Lightning Immunes are a bit of an issue, but... I mean, what shall we do here? What shall we do? Let's uh, let's stroll uh, ip up into the uh, let's stroll up into Diablo's lair and uh, and uh, well, let's take these guys out first. Get out of get out of the way, guys. We're trying to do something. Then we'll actually check out the cows and see how she does against the cows. But can anything kill her? I don't know. Can anything kill her? She's just so powerful. Um, and you know, not only is she powerful, she clears house. You guys know Lightning Fury. Lightning Fury clears house. She clears house with Lightning Fury. Uh, 95, poison resistance. 95, lightning. Lightning 5, fire. Uh, and absorbs on the two most damaging element types. Those are, uh, of course, lightning and fire for the most part. So those actually heal her. They'll actually heal her. I'll take you guys over to the to the council in just a minute. Actually, let's, let's head over to the council right now. We'll come back here in just a second. We'll head over to the council. council in Travancore, as you guys know, this is a dangerous spot for even super duper well geared characters just because the council tends to be uh, ass kicky, good at good at kicking ass. <laughs> you know, the, the council's pretty tough. <clears throat> let's check it out. Let's see if this is a problem. Let's see if this is a problem at all. Let's just waltz through. Well, we know the hydras aren't going to be an issue. If anything, the hydras are going to be helpful. Let's see if we can get a few more council members. Is, is six enough? Yeah, let's get six. Let's see how well six council members with all of their hydras can do. Um, hopefully they focus on me. Focus on me, not my mercenary. Guys, pay attention to me. Pay attention. <laughs> Come on. Pay attention to me, not my mercenary. Uh, man, okay. Well, there's no mercenary in here. And we have a nice amplified damage now, so that's okay. That'll help a bit. That'll help them a bit. Uh, I think we took one hit. We took one hit, but now we're getting healed actually by all the Hydra fire attacks, so yeah, 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 that's not too bad, right? Right? That's, that's, that's pretty tough. That's pretty tanky. I think, I don't know, could we stand here all day? Maybe, maybe, unless they get a few subsequent awesome hits in a row. Yeah, we could probably stand there all day. Anyway, let's clear, clear the bad guys here. We'll make our way into the Chaos Sanctuary. Excuse me, bubs. Excuse me. Excuse me coming through. Get out of the way, please. Move. Can you move? Thank you. Come. Get get out of the way. Get out of the way. Alright, she's better at killing things in a group. 
That's, that is true. Better killing when there's a bunch of things all together, but... Yeah, still, you know, good, good enough, good enough. We're just, we're just being impatient here, pushing our way through. All right. Sometimes I miss teleport. All right, let's see, let's see. Into the Chaos Sanctuary. Let's see, let's find a big group of, of some of the most powerful monsters in the game. Yeah, Chaos Sanctuary, yeah. Most powerful monsters in the game, yeah. Let's see, can these guys do anything? Maybe, maybe, they might be able to. Not too good though. I mean, I'm, it's pretty casual. I haven't used a heal potion yet. All right, okay, they're getting there. They're getting the job done. <laughs> but, you know, usually you don't stand around in a group of monsters like an idiot. Uh, but the point is that this girl is just so tanky. Man, oh man, this would be an extremely awesome hardcore character. Let's do it again. Let's stand in the middle of trouble. See how long we can just stand there with these Doom Knights. Uh, kicking ass. Dodge, dodge. Block, block. Yeah, okay. All right. Doom Knights are pretty good. I'll admit that. Doom Knights are pretty good. All right, let's head on over to maybe the cow level. You know, can't kill those. Our mercenary is doing a good job of surviving here. Let's see. More Doom Knights. Surrounded by Doom Knights. Let's see. How do we do? We did lose our chilling armor. That is one thing. So that is probably affecting the equation a little bit. So in order to get that chilling armor, you can just swap over to Fortitude if you happen to have such a nice item. Get the uh, get the chilling armor buff on. Actually, it can take a minute or two because of how quickly she dodges. 20% chance. But uh, there we go. Now we got the chilling armor buff back on. Put Hellforge plate. All right, let's see. Where's another good group? Another good group. Now that we've got all our armor buffed up and stacked up. Let's see. Those guys aren't strong enough. Maybe these guys. Maybe these guys have a chance. I mean, tanky, right? All right, into the Moomoo farm. Here we go. Let's see how these cows do. With her dodge and her uh, block, and her high armor level. Actually, we don't even have uh, Emilio's armor at the moment, because Emilio uh, had an unfortunate incident. But, yeah. I mean, check that out. I mean, that is cows just uh, wailing away with their halberds, and we're just standing in the middle of that, not even worrying. Not even worrying. You know? Yeah. All right, but how well does she take down cows? How well does she do damage? Well, you guys you guys know if you've seen my previous Lightning Fury Javazon video, this is sort of an updated version of that because we got a nice little mana burn cow in the mix. Uh, she takes down cows and takes down everything really, 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 really well, really super duper fast. All right, let's get... The, she's best in groups. The bigger the group, the better. Um, also best to... Oh, you little mana burn son of a gun. <laughs> That's fine. All right, let's see. Let's get a nice big group. Nice big group. The bigger the better. Throw your spear through a nice uh, nice line of them so you can get multiple. Well, yeah, there we go. Right? Yeah, like that's fast. That's fast. There might be no class that is capable of clearing cows quite as fast as the Lightning Fury Javazon when it's all lined up right, right, in big, big groups. Although the Nova Sorceress build that I did actually yesterday is really, really fast with that too. Check that out if you haven't seen it yet. That's really, really... Really a good one. Like I say, we're looking at PTR here, by the way, in case uh, in case you guys didn't read the title of this video. This is uh, with the new changes to to dodge. New changes to the dodge, uh, evade, and avoid. Uh, no, actually, just dodge and avoid. Uh, basically, you, it used to be that dodge and avoid would put you into a stun lock, right? So you would dodge and evade or avoid if she ever even gets hit, and then you couldn't move, so you could get stun locked by these things, but that has been changed. So you can no longer, so you don't get stun locked anymore by avoid and dodge. Let's take a look at the build. Let's see if I can explain this build to you guys before these cows can kill me. Um, all right, so into uh, into her javelin skills, all we're doing is light 20 into lightning fury because it's enough. It's plenty, it's a, it's a lot. Uh, the kind of interesting emphasis on this build is of course dodge is maxed, avoid is maxed, and evade is maxed. That means we can move around and also have that evade, which one is it? It's the evade, we can have the evade when we run around. Uh, and of course dodge, is, dodge and avoid are for missiles and melee, uh, depending on, well, which one, which damage you're taking. We also have uh, slow missiles for fun. We also have decoy for fun. This is actually potentially good for going up against Bale's minions. Throw a decoy, stand behind your decoy. Valkyrie, maybe, same idea. Also, we're maxing out pierce, and the reason we're maxing out pierce is because we want to be able to pierce through targets. 
um, and get that lightning fury proccing multiple times every throw. Uh, usually you can only you only need to take this to 66 and then you can put on a razor tail but instead of that we're using thunder god's vigor and the reason for that is just because we're making this girl as strong as we can in terms of yeah defensiveness. Now um, in that regard, we're using a Wisp Projector. This is optional. Probably 20 Lightning Absorb from Thunder God's Vigor is enough here. Uh, Wisp Projector also gives some more Lightning Absorb, which is kind of cool. Raven Frost gives some Cold Absorb. Also cannot be frozen, which is nice. And the Rising Sun gives huge Fire Absorb. Basically makes you immune to fire and usually actually better than immune. It makes you heal from fire. Crown of Ages for the uh, all resistance and damage reduction. Storm Shield for that high block rate, also damage reduction. Resistances socketed with an Umrune. Uh, Fortitude and Guardian Angel. Our Guardian Angel is kind of what gets our uh, fire, lightning, poison, and cold resistance all up to 90. And then to get it up to 95%, uh, I've put on Inferno Stride Boots. And uh, let's see, I actually have uh, Venom Grip here just to get the poison resist up without it. It wasn't quite maxed with the charms that I've got here. So basically just a few pieces of gear to max out a few things there. And that's kind of, that's kind of it in a nutshell. 95, 95 all across the board. And uh, yeah, I think we did it guys. I think we did it. I think we uh, <laughs> uh, explained this build before the, before the cows came home. Before the uh, cows were able to take me down. And uh, yeah, there are areas where this character super duper excels at. If you're playing hardcore, this would be a super cool character because you saw how strong she is. She's not just strong against melee, she's strong against magic, she's strong against elements, she's just strong against everything. And, uh, and uh, but like I say, she's maybe not as good at clearing every, every possible area. She's good at clearing cow levels. Uh, if you had an infinity mercenary, she would probably be yeah, pretty good at clearing pretty much pretty much everywhere. Uh, but it's kind of like any any lightning sorcerer or lightning base build. If you don't have infinity, you'll probably find there's a lot of limitation to where you can go. Um, but if you do have infinity, then yeah, really the sky becomes the limit. You can kind of kill everything anywhere. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of a look at the build. I guess the last place we could have a look at is the. Um, Let's see. I got. I got to get a little bit of gold here. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm a broke dude. Let's see. Well, all right. That's good enough. Broke. Grab a couple healing potions, uh, and let's go over to the World Stone Keep. And hey, maybe we'll run into some Dark Souls. And yeah, you can see. There we go. Perfect. Black Souls, rather. Let's see. Can Black Souls do anything to her? No. Nothing can hurt her. <laughs> I mean, some things can hurt her, but. Not Black Souls. I don't know. I don't know. As you guys know, Black Souls are capable of flattening a lot of characters with a single shot from across the screen, but not our character. Even this elite pack. What have we got here? That's his name. Yeah, even this elite pack uh, is, is doing nothing, doing no damage in the middle of Black Souls. I mean, my mana's drained, but aside from that, we're all fine here. <laughs> we're all fine here. We can take it, we can dish it out, we can keep on trucking, and oh, let's see, yeah. like I say, this lightning doesn't do damage because it, she actually has so much resistance and so much absorb that it heals her. So that's, that's about it. I don't know why my fire resistance is down. Oh, I, my boots broke. My boots broke. Oh no. All right, that's okay. No worries. But yeah, anyway, I think you guys can see the power of this build at clear, at survive, at potentially a, a, like a sweet hardcore character if you ever got all this super awesome gear. And there is quite a bit of it, right? Uh, Guardian Angel is yeah, not the hardest to acquire, but certainly difficult. Crown of Ages is probably the hardest to acquire of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, usually I would be worried here, right? Like if you were sitting in the Worldstone Keep, you wouldn't be looking at your inventory thinking, ah, my boots broke. You'd be like, oh no, I gotta run around and survive and and, and, and fear for my life and kill monsters. Nope. Not this character. <laughs> Not this character. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.